Welcome to another episode of Real Cooking and Baking oh, with Chef yeah, Jasmine yeah. Buchanan. Today I will be turning turkey neck into oxtail. But before I do that, remember to subscribe to Real Cooking and Baking with Chef Jasmine Buchanan. Not only subscribe, you share, you follow, and you comment. Okay, you can find me on TikTok at Chef Jasmine B, also on Instagram. You can join my Facebook group also. So, let's begin. Okay. Uh, the reason now I'm turning turkey neck into oxtail is because oxtail is so expensive and many people complaining about the price which is true and it's just fatty so I have a better idea for all who complaining about oxtail no oxtail is like um like eight eight nine ten dollars a pound where I get a whole pack of turkey neck for just five twenty five. Mix and match the two pack is for ten dollars. So I'm gonna show you how you can get your turkey neck to taste just like oxtail. Okay. So I'm gonna um put my turkey neck in this bowl here. Now you see how many turkey neck I get, okay? What I ask the busher to do is just cut it smaller. You know how you go in this store and you find that long turkey neck? I told him to cut it small because I'm going to transfer it into oxtail. So, oh, so that's and look and the amount of turkey neck in the bowl for just $10 that is just a one pound of oxtail money so, I, so that is charge so I'm going to come over here and I'm going to wash my turkey neck with cold water and I'm going to also to clean up my turkey neck too. it's clean you don't want nothing on the turkey neck that's not supposed to be on it because you go transfer it you want it to taste as oxtail as much as possible and it will taste like oxtail when I finish with it okay just watch my process of turning this turkey neck into a tasty oxtail dinner. No work, no need to complain about the price of oxtail no more when I finish get this together. Clean your turkey neck. You don't want all that stuff this string okay clean it as much as possible you don't it may take time but don't worry You go please when you finish with the result. I 
and you want to rinse it one more time with cold water all right So now I'm gonna um now I'm gonna take as I said you want this string off the the neck as much as possible. Okay. So now I'm gonna this is quarter cup of white vinegar. Quarter cup of vinegar. And I'm going to pour it all over. This help take away, you know how you buy meat and it still have that fridge, fridge smell and taste on it. This take it away. You know, this make it go taste so much better. All right, so I'm not going to throw the vinegar off because I want the vinegar to, um, you're not go taste it when I finish put all these season on it. I just want the vinegar to help transfer the taste from this turkey neck. Because remember, we, we transfer transforming the turkey neck to steel and I do not want to see any string like this and the neck okay so again let's season our turkey neck I'm using the tail season and this because I eat so many turkey neck I'm gonna use two tablespoon I'm not gonna use any more seasoning different from this just the oxtail season so I'm gonna use two tablespoon So now, um, I'm gonna try rub it up before I add my rest of stuff that I want to add. Cause I want to go chew and chew the meat, right? So this is like, um, a half a tomato but it's a large tomato and it's half a tomato i'm just gonna rough cut it this also one half a vera pepper when we done with the this turkey neck it go taste just like ox tail. Okay. Now these are what I really like. This what's giving your meat season. These fine um colorful, these small co colorful pepper, sweet pepper, and you just rough cut it it, it don't matter how you go cut it you just want to rough cut it up that it go kind of cook out you, you go cook out with the uh, when are ready to finish it off I use a lot 
because as you see it's a lot of turkey mix so and you want it to taste good and you want it also to transform from turkey neck to tasting oxtail you know when some people not even eat the turkey neck and don't know if they eating turkey neck this is what we go do today when you finish with it you're not supposed to know nobody not supposed to know it was turkey neck start to looking good already And you just cut it all over. Now I like to use basil and these are my fresh organic stuff that I cut from my garden and I just cut a little piece for basil good for your stomach and it's also give help with the food for it to taste good and I like to use organic stuff I like to um you just plant this stuff this green onion skeleton for the carbian and I'm just gonna chop it up I just cut it from my garden And you know how it's smelling, already smelling so good. These fresh thyme that I just cut from my garden, fresh thyme. You don't know how much this go help make um, this meat transfer to turkey. You're not even going to know you were, it was turkey like you buy in the store. You just want a rough chop but you need to have your herbs your season and your onion okay and you see everything i'm just go rough rough chop it so it go fast as my slogan is easy tasty and elegant You just go up chop everything but these go cook cook down into gravy all right then i'm gonna rub this up look how beautiful this is from the um from the case to now okay so I'm going to put more onion because you want your meat to taste real good. So I'm going to add my rest of onion right here. I do not want it overpowered, but I just want it to um, make sure it tastes good. So it's beginning to look good. Now the fun part, okay? We go um go ahead and this is oxtail sauce so i'm going to go ahead and use a tablespoon of the oxtail stock sauce and let me see no this need one more you can find these stuff at your local jamaican store i don't think you go find them it, find it nowhere else or you can find it online So that's three tablespoons and because the 
what's in the bottle was all it, that was in the bottle so i'm just gonna flash out the rest for it's empty so let's i get to the browning this give the meat the color i'm gonna use I want to use a tablespoon I'll let you use this tablespoon right now and now this need more This is browning. You can find it at your Jamaican store. This browning for who in the USA. So you can find this at the Jamaican store. You can also find this oxtail sauce at the Jamaican store. So you know although this um you know although this is turkey neck I'm transforming it to oxtail so I'm using everything that I would use and the oxtail and the turkey neck. Let's rub it up together. Oh, you see how beautiful that is. You know, when I did just open the pack and it have that turkey neck scent. No, it's that turkey neck scent already gone. Look at it. How beautiful. And it's just season up, okay? So I have so right now I think that is good for the browning because I'm gonna sear the meat, and when I sear the meat, the meat go even get darker. So I'm gonna turn on turn my stove on high. And meanwhile, I have my stove on high. I'm gonna, I'm gonna come over. I'm gonna like clean up back here, clean up back my table, and when my pot hot and it's, I come back and show you what I will do next. So my pot seems like it's hot, so I'm gonna put um, half cup of oil. It needs to be hot a little more, but meanwhile that's going. I'm gonna get my pressure cooker and get it ready for the meat. So, remember my slogan is easy, tasty, yet delicious. I'm not going to be in the kitchen all day trying to get this cooked and the stove top to be soft. I'm going to put it in the pressure cooker for um, around an hour till, it, till the bone and the meat become soft. Then I will transfer it back again to the stove top. But I'm not going to kind of over something over a meal meal while I can make it easier so okay so you don't want to when you I'm gonna sear the meat but I'm gonna bring the meat closer to the pot you don't want the meat to be 
burn and you don't want the meat to cook steam instead of sear so my oil is is hot right now i'm just gonna use my hand and you want You saw my pot was so hot at the beginning. Now it's time to get cooled down. So I'm gonna eat up and um, put in more meat in here for right now and just start to turn my meat. Okay, so I don't want it to burn, so I'm just going to add some more and cool down the oil again. Remember to subscribe to Real Cooking and Baking with Chef Jasmine Gitan and not only subscribe, you share, you like, you comment, you join my Facebook group, you um, follow me on TikTok and Instagram. Thank you all for who already subscribed. After you put it in, after it's cooked in the pressure cooker, you want to put it back on the stove top to um to give it that thick gravy down to finish it off. You can have leave this on the stove top, but it will be hours. So I tell to make it hard to cook just like a skin. I'm just going to add some more.
Yeah, I'm going to have, um, have this food on high. As what I said, you don't want to boil your axia, you want to sear it. I could take this up, these up, but I just wanted to get the heat. Get the heat because the longer it's here, it more it will taste really good. It's better than have it in a pot of pressure cooker. So when it's go in the pressure cooker, it will be already tasty. Okay, and you see how many herbs, herbs I have left here to cook it down with so you, you know my meat go taste really good. So again today I will be transforming turkey neck into oxtail. I go over here and get my uh, my pressure cooker ready. Let's go plug it up for right now. Remember, do not let your meat burn. The longer you sear it, it's best it taste it go be before it gets in the pressure cooker. And I want it to taste as oxtail as much as ever because this is why I'm doing it. I'm transferring it perfectly into oxtail. So I have to do it just like how. I'll, 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 if I was doing Axtail. You see how good it's looking. Now 
the whole good is looking. Look at the bottom. already smells so good and it's not even cooked yet I yet still it smells so good so now I'm gonna transfer this uh, meat to my pressure cooker because it's already sear so I'm gonna transfer it to the pressure cooker before and I transfer it back to the stove top. Okay, so I'm just gonna add some as you can see how it look beautiful I'm just gonna add some water it's around two cups and just um put my pressure cooker and meat and I'm gonna do it for an hour and when I come back, I show you my, I come back and show you what I will do next. So my turkey neck is pressuring for 45 minutes. I check it when it reached 45 minutes and it's ready. And meanwhile, my turkey neck was pressure. I did have my veg and low, so I don't add cook food to rub herbs. So, I'm gonna pour it out in this pot here and turn up back my stove on high and I'm gonna mix up everything together. And I'm going to add some more of the oxtail sauce here. And I'm thinking I'd like about a, a cup. I need it to taste real. I need it to taste just like oxtail. Again, today this video is transforming turkey neck into oxtail. You want to use everything you use for oxtail and use and your turkey neck. Now, I'm 
gonna add my butter bean for the thickness of the gravy. As I say, Axel is so high, so you have to get creative and make something taste just like Axel. So I want the bean to go all over. You see how looking good? Who can tell you this is not ox tail? And it's soft. And I, so this is how I, this is a three stage when you're doing in the pressure cooker, you have to do three stage. You have to sear it and you stove that first. Then for the speed up the cooking process, you have to use a pressure cooker if you have one. If you don't have one, you just have to cook it for hours and your fire or your stove top. But this, I use the pressure cooker to speed up the cooking process. Okay. And you just cook it down to your gravy to how you, you the thickness to how you want. Look how beautiful that is. Look there. Look at that. Look at that. Come and tell let me know if this don't look have your mouth running water for some. Look and look how beautiful that is. Real nice. And you know it's tasty. So I'm gonna um, get my plate ready to do some. So I will be back. Now my pot is ready. And as you see, look how good that's look. You cannot tell this is turkey neck. You just so this dinner is transforming turkey neck into oxtail. Look how beautiful that is. You have your butter bean, you have everything that you would use and all you have to do all i have to do now is clean up my plate look how gorgeous that is who can tell this is tur turkey neck dinner 
this is transforming turkey neck into oxtail so let i try it now as you can see it's real real hot and it's soft because i pressure it so it's down hard it's just falling off the bone meat you see that falling off the bone just falling off the bone like that so hot so good you taste no form of tur like tur you know how you taste turkey neck because i use that vinegar you taste no form of turkey neck just as if you're eating a oxtail dinner so remember to subscribe to Riga cooking and baking with chef jasmine not only subscribe you like you share you follow me on instagram i'm also on tiktok you can join my facebook group i uh, appreciate all who subscribe to me you can support me through my cash app and remember to i tell others about my video and i see you next time in another episode with real cooking and baking with chef jasmine